Obviously, we love every Royals home run, but here's an even better reason this season to cheer them on, right? One Royals run at home equals $100 to the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum this season. KSHB 41 News reporter Claire Bradshaw joins us live this morning, sharing more about this partnership, what that money could go toward. Claire, you were busy yesterday, like looking up stats of how many runs the Royals scored at home last year, just to try to figure out how much money we could be talking about here. Yeah, and we could be talking about a couple hundred thousand potentially if the Royals just have an amazing season. So it's been a hundred years since the first Negro League World Series. The KC Monarchs won that back in 1924. It's also been a hundred years of J.E. Dunn, a general construction company in Kansas City. So every time that the Royals cross home plate at home this season, J.E. Dunn is giving a hundred dollars to the Negro League Baseball Museum. I talked with Bob Kendrick with the museum about this partnership between J.E. Dunn and with the Royals as well. He says he's rooting for the Royals to, you know, just hit it out of the park all the time this year because that money will help the museum's operations day in and day out. I asked him also about the impact of the KC Monarchs on baseball overall in Kansas City, the first team to win a major championship for our city as well. He wants people to remember that when they watch today's Royals. Baseball has always been a very important part of this city and now it is lived out through the Royals but no sport looks back the way that baseball does. Uh -huh. We constantly look back and so history is very significant. We also just asked Bob Kendrick, you know, what he thinks the Royals could potentially do this season if there wasn't money on the line for the museum. He says he thinks they have a pretty good chance of winning the Central Division, bringing playoff baseball back to Kansas City. So that's his favorite thing about opening day for the MLB. It happens in the spring. There's this newfound season of hope for the sport. Back to you guys. So obviously they've got plans for that money as they raise it, Claire. What do they want to do? Yeah, like I mentioned, they're going to uh, put the money that J.E. Dunn gives toward the museum. That's going to go to operations. This is a nonprofit museum, so it's just going to help them continue to function and be alive in Kansas City. We also have to mention that they're still in the fundraising uh, operations for the new museum location that they're going to put right here by the Buck O'Neill Center. They announced that last year in May. Still trying to raise that $25 million. Back to you guys.